people thank you. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. And to the is just to rise this and to mercy the Lord Jesus is how we trust you. How we call you in Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, look for grace to trust you. Father, we thank you for this refreshing time. We just bless your name in the name of Jesus. We are worshipped, amen and amen. Hallelujah! Very quickly, I'm gonna take us through the book of Zechariah, chapter 6. The Lord is laying this greatly in my heart. Zechariah, chapter 6, and it says, My people are going through a lot. Oh, the Lord said that we should study this book together this chapter together and i went through it, this chapter but i i realized that god is reminding us by just asking us to to meditate on this scripture is reminding us of everything that he has said to us so if you have your bibles with you i'd like for you to open it to Zechariah chapter 6. As you know, during this time of our fast, Zechariah is the book that the Lord has given us for studies. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time of your word. And we pray, Lord, that you touch us with your word. You touch our hearts. Touch our eyes, touch our ears, touch every part of our body as we yield to your move, sweet Holy Spirit, the great teacher that you will teach us. We receive the spirit of understanding this day in the name of Jesus. As we receive your word, let our lives be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let me hear the people of God say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're supposed to spend more time just waiting on the Holy Spirit. But I'm going to quickly do this. The scripture, um, the, the, the word of God is power. And I don't want us to go away without being empowered by the word of God. So I'm going to start to read Zechariah chapter 6. Amazing reading the English Standard Version. Again, I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, four chariots came out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of bronze. The first chariot had red horses, the second black horses, and the third white horses, and the fourth chariot dappled horses all of them strong. Here we see the strength and sovereignty of the Father being explained to us. I want you to look closely to these scriptures. Verse 4 says, Then I answered, you know, wherever you see horses, it means strength. Strength in the prophetic. When you see chariots, it means judgment. It says, Then I answered and said to the angel who talked with me again the lord is reminding us of what is said about eden where you will have supernatural encounters here listen to what the prophet says says then i answered and said to the angel who talked with me so this guy is not just having angelic visitations but also communicating normally with angels and these words used even casually because if you look from the beginning the, the chapter one of um this book of Zechariah you would see that this isn't even the first encounter is having his had visions over visions over visions so getting here 
This is communication, supernatural communications. These are encounters of the Spirit. And, and so I want you to mark that also. And if you remember the book of Psalm 34 that God has given us as a guide in Scripture for this year, we see also there where it talks about angels encamping around you. So God is reminding us of everything that he has spoken to us from the beginning of this year. So I'm going to go ahead to read verse 5. And the angel answered and said to me, These are going out to the four winds of heaven after presenting themselves before the Lord of the earth. Understand what happens in the supernatural realms. They're going to present themselves before the Lord of all the earth. The chariot with the black horse goes towards the north. They're going on assignment. So it goes towards the north country. The white ones go after them. And the dappled ones go towards the south country. If you remember, there's something we talked when we talked about angelic visitations. I remember also saying that you can't leave your angels lazy. You have to send them on assignment and even as i was reading this place you know the lord just laid this in my heart as it is in heaven so it is on earth most of the things in the bible is to remind us of what we should do how it should be done remember when we're reading the book of exodus we talked about how how is important the how of how you serve god and so we have the scriptures to remind us that the ancient past still stands and here is telling us um, we see this revelation from the eyes of zachariah of what happens in heaven so these these um chariots are going on assignment so this happens. I want you to start opening your eyes of understanding. So you get that everything that is happening on earth is not all it oh it's not all that is to it. There are other things happening. So these chariots are sent, it says, to the north. So after presenting themselves to the Lord of all the earth, Lord of all the earth, I like to content analyze. Why would this come up here? Lord of all the earth, again, talking about the sovereignty of God, the power he has to send them to the four corners of the earth. Back up a bit. We see four winds of heaven. Again, we've been taught that wind, that the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God manifests as wind. Okay, let's keep moving. The angels of God also, I don't want to confuse us much. So the angels of God also, one of the ways, as I know, that you can tell angelic um the station around you, even if you can't see them, is like wind just passing you. Um, during ministrations, we, we we see this happening. You can pretty much hear someone say, the angel of the Lord is passing through the middle. And these things are not made up. Maybe some of them make it up, but these things happen. So this year, we're normalizing supernatural encounters. So this is a whole curriculum on its own, right? So the winds of heaven representing the Holy Spirit or even move of angels okay so after presenting themselves to the lord of the earth now they're going on assignment the chariot with the black horses goes to the north country the white ones go after them and the dappled ones go towards the south country when the strong horses came out they were impatient to go and patrol the earth so there are things that you don't see that are happening around you. Just kind of like how we send angels on assignment. You also have to be aware that in the kingdom of hell, this happens too. And so this is why we always say that you mo- you, you must always pray and uh, you must always ma- um, map your territories. Now, this isn't the good, the bad side that we're reading out now, but this happens too. The, the devil understands this too, so he uses it too. So if you don't map even during your prayers, okay, or you don't map maybe even before you go to bed or before stepping out, that just as we see here, these angels, be, these chariots being sent on assignment, the same way the devil does that, he sends his own on assignment also. And so when you map, you have a covering. As a watchman also, actually, this is one of the things you have to do. 
spiritual mapping is very important so don't forget that again talking about um the the one going to the north the other one going to the we pray this way too you send assignment you i i do this prayer a lot where you know you hear me say to the north to the south to the east to the west it's also mapping but also establishing the sovereign rule of god and that you have that same authority so really in the spirit there are no barriers you don't need spiritual visas to travel to other country as a watchman you know this is your job this is your job so it says when the i'm going back to verse seven sorry when the strong horses came out god is giving us an understanding of how to pray what to pray and you know of course angelic visitations here um spiritual engagements remember we talked about encounters when we talked about eden so verse 7 when these strong horses came out they were impatient to go and patrol the earth and he said go patrol the earth so they patrolled the earth then he cried to me behold those who go towards the north country have set my spirit at rest in the north country so when i was reading this the lord also laid in my heart that we're going to be praying with these scriptures also one of them being that the spirit of the lord rests upon us the spirit of the lord rests upon us okay lord set your spirit upon me the lord gave us that um, prayer point and then again set my spirit at rest in the north so you know the lord was laying my heart at this time that his people are going through a lot and i don't know your burdens but this is the job of the holy spirit to comfort you to set you also at rest so please note so we're going to be praying in this direction media please keep writing those prayer points out thank you verse 9 now and the word of the lord came to me take from the exiles eldai tobijah and jediah who have arrived from babylon and go the same day to the house of josiah the son of zephaniah take from them silver and gold and make a crown and set it on the head of joshua so when i got to the point this point i remember god talking to us this year about the king and the priest and we're just gonna go on here so take them from them silver and gold and make a crown and set it on the head of joshua the lord is crowning you in this season in the name of Jesus, it says the son of Jehozadak, the high priest. So he's a high priest, but they're making a crown for him. Remember when we talk about king and priest, kingship and priesthood, God is reminding us of this. It says, and say to him, thus says the Lord of hosts, and reason verse 12, behold the man whose name is the branch for he shall branch out from his place and he shall build the temple of the lord he shall branch out from this place he shall build the temple of the lord it is he who shall build the temple of the lord and shall bear royal honor and shall sit and rule on his throne and there shall be a priest on his throne and the council of peace shall be between them both kingship and priesthood so getting here i can assure you this is um a prototype of jesus christ going out right here if you remember at ihp we talked so much about everything that happened in the um in the old new testament having a prototype of the same in the whole testament and yeshua here um the meaning of J- joshua also is savior so here you see the handwriting of jesus all over here but also when i was reading this place what the lord reminded me of 
is what Jesus Christ said to us before he left. Right, that greater things than these ye shall do also. So most of the time, anywhere you see Jesus in the scriptures, uh, take for instance, I would say Jesus Christ healed the sick. How many sick people have you healed? He raised the dead. How many dead people have you raised? He said greater works uh, work than these ye shall do. Greater you shall do. So even here we see, you know, as I said, there's a picture of Jesus right here. But also I want you to see yourself right here. Because God has been speaking to us about you being a king and a priest. And here we have the description of it. Is a priest sitting on the throne with a crown on his head. A priest sitting on the throne with a crown of his head. So it goes on to talk about, let, let me use this to explain that leadership that God has been talking to us about. The, the, the scepter of power that has been given to God's people. That even though you're in the marketplace, you still reign as, kick, as God's ambassador. And also a priest. Wherever you found yourself, you have the responsibility to be a priest to them there. You're praying for them. You're doing the same work that Jesus did. You're destroying the works of Satan. And you're also there as a king. Kingship is rulership. Kingship is rulership. So you're not the one who should be stuck at the bottom of the ladder. You're not the one who, there's, there's a certain level of authority that you must carry. And I'm not even also talking so much about, um, let me say, uh, I'm not even so much talking about the physical authority even, but the spiritual authority. I've been in a position where um, I was at a level so low compared to my boss, and I was st still running my word. She would come to me for counsel. She would go, oh, they caught this person, pray for this person, what should we do? I said, let them go. You know, so my manager was speaking to me. So even though she was the manager, I was managing the word. So at times when she would want to, she's a Muslim, she would want to penalize people for doing things that, you know, we, we have rules on, on different words in the hospital. We have our own rules. And some people would just, maybe, you know, a patient comes and say, he was talking to me about Jesus. And she would say, what should I do? I just say, leave, leave, just let it go. And it came to a point where she began to behave like a Christian because of, you know, the, the rules she was giving out, the things she was saying. But she always came to me to counsel her, even though we were like six Levels apart, I taking the lower one. So you're where you are, uh, you know, as the Lord has reminded us, and now He's reminding you again that He has put you there and given you a level of authority. Don't let me say level, because spiritual authority is a high one. And there are people at your workplaces also who have this their own spiritual authority also. But it may not be of it may not be of the Lord, but you're there to destroy the works of Satan. So I want you to see yourself in this picture of Jesus Christ, right? Because Christ in you, the hope of glory. See yourself in this picture. Behold, behold, the man whose name is Jolaimi shall branch out from his place. And shall build the temple of the Lord. Where are you building the temple of the Lord? Where? Wherever you are. You must build the temple of the Lord. You shall bear royal honor. Know that you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. You are a peculiar people. To show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into light. That's your royal honor. He says, and shall sit and rule on his throne. Are you ruling where you are? Even if you can't physically yet, are you ruling spiritually? 
and there shall be a priest on his throne, and the council of peace shall be between them both, and the crown, remember, council of peace, that's a key one right there, verse 14, and the crown shall be in the temple of the Lord as a reminder to Halem, to Bija, Jediah, and Hen, the son of Zephaniah, verse 15, and those who are far off shall come and help to build the temple of the Lord. You will begin to attract people. Let me use these words also from north, from east, from the south and the west. You'll begin to attract people who will help to build the temple of the Lord. The Lord will send forth resources to you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And this shall come to pass. Now listen to this part. And this shall come to pass if you will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. Remember, it is our year of instruction. It is our year of instruction. So again, the Lord is reminding us of all that he has said before. And we won't forget, when normalizing encounters, we're ruling as he had been ordained in the supernatural. We have learned how to pray. Your God is a sovereign God is the ruler the owner of the earth the lord of all the earth that's the god that you serve and the lord is reminding you now that this is the god that you serve so as i have received i have released and you know we're going to pray for rest. We're going to pray for rest. You know, I, I kept hearing my, my people are going through a lot. And I, I want to call you forth into rest. But I also want you to step into it. I want you to step into it. Yesterday I was uh, studying something about, you know, the, that scripture that says casting down imaginations. And I began to think how powerful imaginations are so much that the devil understands this and he uses it against this, the people of god and it's time for us to use it too what do you see see yourself entering into rest see that crown resting on your head see yourself seated on the throne A hair with Christ, with Christ, a king and a priest. <sighs> right, let us pray. Don't say, Lord, I enter into rest. The wind of the Holy Spirit moves me into my place of rest. In the name of Jesus. Malo zubra inaneka shetetea. Rato soli de dije biela brando suzo. Rata tata tapa sakataya na shataya. Abba Father, let your spirit rest upon us. Rendo zuma kaye de beje de deresha. You know, saying let your spirit rest upon us is also you saying let your comfort rest upon me. Let your peace rest upon me. And I want you to see yourself stepping into that Eden of the Lord and enjoying rest on all sides. (laughs) 
I want you to enter into that rest. Enter into that rest. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that the wind of the Holy Spirit moves you into that place of rest in the name of Jesus. As you dwell in his presence, may you experience rest like never before in the name of Jesus. The Lord breaks the, the cord of multiple struggles and stress around you. Anxiety. I break that cord in the name of Jesus. Respite from all battles. Peace on every side. In the name of Jesus. Divine intervention. A decree over your situation. In the name of Jesus. Exodus 33, 14. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. As you go in this new week, may you experience rest like never before. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, I decree and I declare this day every stronghold of darkness, sin, causing you unrest. I break it, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Everything in your life rebelling against the word of God, rebelling against prophecies you've been given. Rebelling against word of knowledge that God has given you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When you raise such words with the blood of Jesus, from today you will experience rest. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare no more struggles, no more confusion. In the name of Jesus, the Lord steals every stone this day. In the name of Jesus, loneliness, I come against you. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I declare upon that person. The love of the Lord embraces you right now, envelopes you right now. In the name of Jesus, and the presence of the Lord uproots every seed of loneliness in your life. In the name of Jesus, the Lord gives you rest uncommon rest in the name of jesus <laughs> uncommon rest in the name of jesus rest from all forms of attacks in the name of jesus Marato Sotakaya. even a person you woke up with a very terrible dream i declare and i declare that that bad dream is nullified in the name of jesus <laughs> 
enter into your rest. Rest from every form of attack. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare wholeness, healing in your bones. Rest from pains. Rest from infirmity. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare your life, your business, your ministry, your marriage, your academics, your career, all that concerns you will not reject this power of rest and the grace to experience peace like never before in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Sweet Spirit of God, for touching us like never before. Thank you, Jesus, for healing. Thank you, Lord, for healing, healing. Somebody, the Lord is healing you, your identity. The Lord is healing the self-esteem. A king and a priest. A king and a priest. Somebody, you're feeling heaviness on your head as if there's all there's something on your head right now. King and a priest. Thank you, Abba Father. Somebody, you're feeling oil run down your head the lord commissions you this day activated for greatness a king and a priest the lord anoints you this day for rulership in the name of jesus thank you abba father your life, your destiny, I decree and I declare, is transformed to that of a man of rest, a woman of rest. As you trust the Lord, you will also rest in Him. In the name of Jesus. And this word says, I will give peace and quiet to Israel in His days. <laughs> Peace and quiet becomes your portion in the name of Jesus. No more chaos, receive kingdom in the name of Jesus. The Lord give you victory. And now you've entered into rest in the name of Jesus. And I decree concerning you, every family connected to this altar, I decree concerning you this day, Receive peace, receive quiet, day, night, peace and quiet. The Lord fights for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, and you shall build a house for the name of the Lord. You enter into that rest <laughs> that builds. A rest of leg a legacy of rest. Yes. In the name of Jesus. The Lord sets you free from frustrations. Your testimony will not be like those that are around you. A thousand may fall at your right hand. Ten thousand in your left, but they that evil will not come near you. It will not come near your dwelling. In the name of Jesus, your new season is come. Irrespective of what you have been through, irrespective of what you are presently going through, deliverance has come upon you, your house and your nation. In the name of Jesus, you will build new houses, you will build new dreams, you will see new visions. The Lord activates rest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. His mercy will speak for you 
wherever your name is being mentioned, the mercy of the Lord will speak for you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> the Lord establishes his royal throne in your life, in your house, and in your nation in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I decree concerning you this day complete rest, physical rest, spiritual rest, financial, uncommon rest, divine rest, anointed rest, rest in your relationships <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We bless you, Jesus. The Lord meets your need in the name of Jesus. You will not lack. You will not beg in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We worship and adore you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Let the people of God shout amen. 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 Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody just omit your mic and just thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father, we thank you. you. Thank you. All right, Miss Pastor Jolene, Pastor Jolene, please round up for us. Thank you, sir. Pastor Jolene, are you there? Thank you. Good morning, sir. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we're grateful unto you. Thank you for all this season. We thank you for your move. We thank you for holding us by our ends and taking us one step after the other to where you have destined and proposed and ordained for us. I want to pray these two prayers. They're just revelational in the course of where Apostle Peace was ministered. It just showed me. God showed me a very beautiful house. It's, it's, it's like a hall. A very, very beautiful. And suddenly I saw one of the brick, one of the blocks being removed. And by the time the person that removed one would have removed like two or three, all the building came down. Mm. <laughs> And the second one that looked like it was, um, I saw a personality that was released from the pit of hell to defile men. Mm. When I say men, uh, it's everybody to defile. And um, it comes as um, a demonic petra. Mm. So I'll pray for them in the name of Jesus. That you are going to send your spirit of unity. Of oneness of suffering and singleness of heart upon this house in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the spirit we have called us, even uh, the larger church, the bigger church of the global church, that you keep us as one. In the fire of Lord. in the name of Jesus Christ, cause our voices to become one, cause us to speak as a voice in the name of Jesus. 
And Father, I pray. I come against every demonic ketra. Spirit of defilement. That comes as a result of eating in the dream. Drinking in the dream. By the power of the the blood of Jesus, that power in it that protects. I activate that power again this morning. That whether in our sleep, in reality, in our trance, it will shield us from every form of defilement in the name of Jesus. So Father, as we go, we go in your strength and in your grace and in your power and your might. We ask for that flow of the anointing again upon our lives. So much so in our different locations. The people that we have a counter with. Situation that we have a counter with. They will all know that there is an anointing over us that breaks protocol, yes, Lord. that turns bad to good, that causes there to be water in the desert, and that causes the words of our mouth to become the word of king and authority in the land. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that your spirit will uphold us as we engage today in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We are grateful unto you. I decree and I declare that henceforth, for you that toil, for you that struggle, and for you that you've been used to it, saying you've been hustling, this oil will come upon you as a spirit of ease and of comfort. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And hitherto you've been chasing your hundred by the help of the flow of the anointing of God. You enter into the realm of chasing manifold more than hundred, more than thousand, in the name of Jesus. And this anointing and this oil through your life is giving expression to the world, saying that this is my own. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. As a result of this anointing, as a result of this flow of God's power in our lives, wherever you put your step, your, your feet, the Lord is taking that place for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you step into a situation that looks as if it's bad, it will turn to be good. And the Lord is enlarging your coast for you. And the Lord is strengthening you. So go in this might of the Lord. For the Lord has set you up to become a blessing to this world and to this generation. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. Sister Ife. 
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Warrior Prayer Gym. This is Fierce Worship Request for the King. Um, let me recognize the presence of the men and women of God in the house. Thank you so much, Pastor Daytola, for worshiping with us this morning. Thank you, Pastor Gunaya. Thank you, Prophetess Grace. Thank you so much, Apostle Peace. Right, thank you, Sister Patricia, for worshiping with us. Thank you, Sister Mercy. Thank you, Sister Grace. Sister Monilado, thank you so much. Brother Charles, thank you for worshiping with us. Brother Arnold, thank you so much. Pastor Dutala, thank you for also being present again for this grace. Thank you. Sister Ifi, God bless you and God bless your ministry. Sister Ope, God bless you and God bless your ministry. Sister Saviv, God bless you and bless your ministry. Sister Deborah, God bless you and bless your ministry. Brother Daniel, God bless you and bless your ministry. Pastor Brown, God bless you and bless your ministry. The Spirit and the Bride, God bless you and bless your ministry. Pastor Gwenaya, God bless you and bless your ministry. Sister Princess, God bless you and bless your ministry. Pastor Jolayemi, a celebrating man of God, God bless you and bless your ministry. Brother Amzat, God bless you and bless your ministry. Brother Davon, God bless you and bless your ministry. Minister Kendi, God bless you and bless your ministry. Sister Rachel, God bless you and bless your ministry. Apostle Peace, God bless you and bless your ministry. Right, we meet here every day for Fierce Worship Breakfast with the King at 5, 6 a.m. West African Time and 5 a.m. London GMT and 5 p.m. for Praise or Prayer Power Push Up, 6 p.m. West African Time, 5 p.m. London GMT. Um, Monday to Thursday, Monday to Wednesday, we do um, prayer or praise power push up in the evening. And then Thursday to Saturday, we always study and we're reading the books of all books, the Bible. Currently, we're reading Leviticus 17. So join us on Thursday to study the book of all books. We have clubs that we've vetted in the spirit that um, we do usually draw from, and you are free to join the rooms as well. The clubs are Perfect Love and Jesus, the Citizens of Zion, Prayer Move of the Spirit, you might want to follow Pastor Brown for that. The Spirit and the Bride Club, that is Pastor IK. Yeah, um, Scriptures and Power, PYS Forum, Souls for All Nations, Audio Bible Club, the Fierce Federation, that's our sister club. LFPC family, refreshing moment, watchmen arise, your prayer would connect. You might want to follow Pastor Bonaya for that. The refinery, kingdom mandate, that's a pursue animal and God's night. Um, you can take a screenshot of the brooms and then you can just follow them and um, draw from them the same way um, we fellowship here. We have a Telegram group that we post all information. Um, Brother Devon, can you help me pin the link to the Telegram group? You might want to join. That is where we um, put all the information um, that happens in the Warrior Prayer Gym. If you're led by the Spirit to partner with this ministry, um, the website is there for you. It contains every information we will need. That's the Fiat Federation website. Brother you will help me pin it again after the Telegram group. Thank you, everyone, for coming again. And I will see you in the evening by 6 p.m. West African time, 5 p.m. London GMT. Thank you so much. God bless you. Is there any other announcement I possibly no, that's about it. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to uh, take the prophetic declaration. It's Monday. We apologize for the time again. Thank you, Sister Ife. God bless you. Right. You're ready for the prophetic declaration. It's right there in the comment section. Um, if we can just scroll, scroll. It's right there. Right. <clears throat> Please clear your throat. Are you ready? <clears throat> Are we ready? Ready. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> you can mention my name, please. I need all the prayers, right? I, Peace George. Hi, everyone. Come and say it with confidence. I, Peace George. I, I, I enter into the Omega mode of the Almighty God. I enter into the Omega mode of the Almighty God. I enter into completion, perfection, and the fullness of God. I enter into completion, perfection, and the fullness of God. Then my set time is here. My, my set time, time is here. 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 And praise will not cease from my mouth. And, and praise, praise will not cease from my mouth. mouth. Come on, somebody elevate your pitch. Let them hear you say, Every promise of God and prophecy concerning my life. Every, every promise of God and prophecy concerning my life is coming to pass. It's coming to pass. Come on, scream this. Say, suddenly. 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 Open unto me. Great doors. Great doors are opening unto me. Come on, say that like you know it's happening right now. Great doors are opening unto me. Great doors are opening unto me. Great doors are opening unto me. I am sure of this. I am, I, I am sure of this that he who began a good work in me that, that he who began a good work in me say that he who began a good work in my family he will that he who began a good work in my family come on somebody intercede for your nation that that he who began a good work in my nation that he who began a good work in my nation We'll bring it into completion. We bring, we'll bring it, it into completion. completion. Come on, let's go. Say all things are working for me. All, all things are working, working for me. me. The time and chance are working in my favor in Jesus' name. Time and chance are working in my favor in Jesus' name. Come on, now it's time to elevate. Say, arise as a king and a priest. I arise as a king and a priest. I take my place and subdue the nations. I take my place and subdue the nations. So on, let's say the next one together. Go. Warrior prayer is seated on the hill that cannot be hidden. This is the proof that has to stop because it is God. Now say the same concerning your family. Let's go. George family. Is the hill that cannot be hidden. We are a movement that cannot be stopped because we are of God. Amen. We are for our nation, let's go. Nigeria, United Kingdom, Amen. Right, I'm handing over the mic to our minister for Hallelujah. Grace, you can take over. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Clear your throats. We're going to shout hallelujah seven times to the King of Kings. We're going to shout hallelujah. This hallelujah will go ahead of us for this week and make straight every week and have this hallelujah. Is our praise, is our worship, is our thanksgiving for the week. So shout hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you all for joining us one more time. You are blessed. 
in the name of Jesus. Your week is blessed. May the favor of the Lord be with you this week. May you experience supernatural favor this week in the name of Jesus. And for those of you that are looking up to God for one thing or the other, may he surprise you this week in the name of Jesus. May testimonies mm-hmm. abound. May great news abound in your tabernacles in the name of Jesus. So go in power, go in might, and let your light shine in the name of Jesus. Amen. Apostle Peace, I think that's all right. Yes, we share the grace and we move. Okay. All right, let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace, the grace of, our Lord of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The, Christ. the, the Lord, 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 the God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 The presence of God wherever you go. Let it, let it, let Jesus be known. Let Jesus be seen. More importantly, all right. We end the room in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. See you in the evening. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you.